Hi everybody, this is Jennifer with Perihawk Botanica and today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, everyday liberty and how it's tied into my biggest crusade in life and that's natural healing, helping people to feel better as naturally as possible. That is my, my calling in life, you know, normally it's what I do for a living so very near and dear to my heart and the reason why everyday liberty and when I say everyday liberty I just mean small steps that you can take in your everyday life right here and now to live as freely as possible in an increasingly status world and the reason why taking ownership for your health which is the the focus of my video today is tied to everyday liberty is because I am pretty sure that you cannot achieve personal freedom without taking responsibility for your own health and to prove that I'm going to give you three reasons three ways that not taking uh, ownership for your own health and, and putting your faith into say Western medicine which has largely failed us especially in the region of the realm of chronic illness um, three reasons three ways that it impacts you negatively in terms of achieving liberty first one is money it is expensive to be sick isn't it um, even if we leave aside the costs for medical insurance or the heavy taxation that generally comes with universal health care, these things you can't do much about. But even if we leave those aside, copays, gas, prescription medications, um, the uh, various equipment that you have to have uh, around whatever illness that you have, all of these things can be very, very expensive. Then you have loss of work from having to go to your various uh, doctor's appointments, you know, gas expenditures, all of these things add up to it being actually really quite expensive, you know. Even if you think, oh great, I've got insurance, oftentimes, boy, it hits you in the wallet. Um, so there's definitely a, a money factor and you're spending so much of it on, you know, in treating your illness with Western medicine that um, it makes a big difference. The second way is time. Gosh, time is, is so precious to us, especially if you're getting up early and you're, you're having to spend all day at work and you come home and you have this tiny little window where you get to be home, um, you know, before you have to go to sleep. Time becomes very, very valuable. And if you don't believe me, think about the last time you were at the doctor's office and how much time you spent in that waiting room. The wait time usually increases with the specialist that you have to see. Um, I remember before I went on my journey for natural healing when I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis, there was this uh, one time, the last time in fact, that we went to go visit the rheumatologist that I was seeing. We spent over an hour in a packed, swelteringly hot waiting room to see the rheumatologist and this was an hour after the time that my appointment was supposed to have taken place. Now imagine if you could spend that hour in your garden, you know, or taking a walk, you know, doing something that's great for your emotional health or, or again, um, growing some food, you know, healthy to, to, to you know, improve the way that you're eating. How much more could you have gotten done in that hour than the one that I spent sweating to death in a waiting room. So time is valuable and the uh, the way that our medical field is arranged right now is, is just a huge, huge time eater. And there's another way <laughs> and that it affects your health. The last way that Western medicine impacts your health is in quality of life. We know, we've seen it time and time again, that when it comes to chronic illness, throwing pharmaceuticals at it, you know, and, and paying the barest of lip service to things like better eating and better exercise and better living, it doesn't make us well. Over time, we get sicker, we get more unwell, you know, we're less mobile, and this impacts what we want to do with our lives, you know. All of a sudden, you can't get on that ride at the amusement park with your grandchild or, you know, hike up to the top of the mountain, you know, all of these things that you wanted to do with your life, suddenly, you, because you're increasingly ill, you find that you don't have the energy for. Um, and, uh, and it's really very, very dreadful. The only way that you can really avoid this is to take ownership over your own health. Ultimately, you are the owner of your body. So you have to be the captain of that ship and do the research into 
you know, what's actually going on with you, the root causes of your diseases or sicknesses, whatever it is, and then being a big part of finding the right kind of treatments for what's going on with you. Because we know that the doctors um, in, in throwing drugs and things at the problem, well, they're not even always right. In or, or sometimes their hands are tied in finding the most effective medication. Sometimes uh, insurance companies, you know, um, intervene with those lists of medications that they have and they'll only give you the next one down and, um, um, if you've tried the first one and it didn't work, you know. And, uh, and it's your body that's on the line through all of this. So, ultimately, you have to be the owner of your own health and the direction that it's taking in order to be as free as possible. I'll give you three reasons why, was that four? Fuck. Hi everybody, this is Jennifer with Prairie Hawk Pretend. <laughs> Spit!